Hello everybody, it is Brian for GadgetUnit.com and I wanted to make a quick video tutorial to show you guys how to enable the internal debug settings for the Maps application in iOS 7 and I also believe that something similar works in iOS 6. So this does not require a jailbreak and let me show you the person who found this out, Hamza Sood. So basically what this allows you to do is to access some of the debug settings for the Maps application and like I said, this works for iOS 7. You don't need to be jailbroken, it's just a simple plist edit from your iTunes backup. So this is the main screen that you will be able to unlock once you do this trick and there are a number of different options to check out. There's a lot of interesting things in here. Um, most of them, if not all of them, are kind of useless to most people, but some of them do some pretty interesting things that you could just go ahead and play around with yourself. So that's what this will allow you to do. So you're going to need a free piece of software called iBackupBot, and this is available for both Windows and Mac OS X. I'll be doing this in Mac OS X, obviously. And this allows you to open up your iTunes iPhone backup and browse the files within them. You could change them if you'd like. And there are free download links towards the bottom of the page. So once you have that downloaded, go ahead and open it up and it should automatically load the latest backup that you've made for your device. Now, of course, I'm going to have to blank out most of these things. But once you're there, go ahead and expand System Files, Home Domain, Library, and then go over to Preferences. Sort it by name and go look for com.apple.maps.plist. Click on Edit View, use the built-in editor. Just hit Cancel if it brings up this window about the trial version. Just cancel that out and it brings up the uh, plist editor here. So what you need to add is are these two lines here. So debug panel enabled and set that to true. If you wanted to do it a little bit easier, you could use the list view and add your own row like this. It needs to be a boolean, obviously, and of course that needs to be true. I find this way to be a little bit easier to deal with. So once you've added these two lines, make sure it's within the uh, dictionary itself. Click on the save button and then click on the red close button. And as soon as you save it and close that window, your iTunes backup has been edited. Now iBackupBot does have its own restore feature, but I noticed that it doesn't do anything. So what you need to do is go over to iTunes and click on your device in the left sidebar, or right click on it if you'd like, and go to restore from backup. Choose the backup that it was just edited. The date and time will not change on that, so make sure you know which one you edited beforehand. And go ahead and click on restore. After you do that, the, the, uh, the changes will be made and to activate your um, your debug settings menu, you need to open up the Maps app and simply tap on the status bar once and that will go ahead and open up this menu for you and you'll be able to play around with a lot of what's in here. So it's kind of neat. Most of the things, like I said earlier, aren't really useful to most people, but it is interesting to go ahead and check out and see what the people over on Apple, over at Apple themselves, are messing around with from time to time. So that's it with this video. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback about this or anything else, feel free to leave those down below in the comments area. But that is it with this video. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you all very soon.